what's going on everyone? It's me, ya boy, Alex the Rambler, and today we're back on Hearts of Iron 4. And what we're doing today is returning to another nation that I haven't played as for years. Uh, this one I've actually done a little bit of a test run through and I was actually surprised at how powerful they are. So if you're happy to see more Hearts of Iron back on the channel, comment, like and subscribe. About 50% of you aren't subscribed, but you could be. It's free. Right? And 5,000 likes, and I'll do another disaster save. How's that? Anyway, today we're playing a nation that actually has a focus tree, but again, you kind of forget that they do, because I don't know how many people, even players, Czechoslovakia. I believe Czechoslovakia were given a focus tree in... Is it Together for Victory? God, this game's six years old now. Like, I, I just don't remember anymore. No, 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 I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Of course I am. It is, of course... Death or Dishonor. I'm going to try and make Czechoslovakia so chonkily powerful that Germany will just devastate themselves on my border. Let's go! Although we do start off with Divided Nation and Skoda Works, which gives us 10% factory output. So, so that's nice. And Czech troops fought alongside the Entente forces all over Europe during the Great War in an effort to secure recognition for their nation. And they rose from the ashes of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Yeah. And we're led by Edvard Benz. And we're just like a big slug in the centre of Europe. Or a sperm. Guess I'm going to impregnate Germany. <sighs> Sometimes. <laughs> oh, and why don't we just do Iron Man mode for the fun. The lols. Let's go! I may regret doing Iron Man. Uh-oh. Okay, so we start off with a pretty nice amount of civilian factories, actually, uh, and a decent amount of military factories for a minor nation. So let's just go ahead and start getting some uh, towed artillery, and then we'll have to get some towed anti-air as well. I do have basic light tank sash shashish, shashish, the shashish. But let's go over to improved, perhaps. Do you know what? I know it would be prudent of me not to even bother having these uh, divisions. Of t oh my god, that's the icon it picks. Well, I'm keeping them. The tree is actually, for a um, Death or Dishonor, pretty large-ish. And something that I'm going to have to do as we go along is the fortification studies, etc. But to begin with, I'm going to go ahead and do Industrial Legacy. Here we go. Skoda Works was the largest arms manufacturer in Austria-Hungary. And since our independence, they have branched out to become a leader in many fields of the industry. Although, let's face it, before they were bought by Volkswagen, their reliability and their <laughs> in their cars weren't exactly that great, uh, were they? It used to be a bit of a joke, didn't it? At least that's what I remember growing up. I'm old, you see, kiddos. <laughs> so we're missing uh, the Air Force, but that's okay at the moment. I believe we have one... No, we have two Field Marshals. I'm going to go for Josef Snederek. We do have this one who's a fast planner and has an offensive doctrine, but we're going to be focusing on defense. My aim won't be to just blast into the German Reich. We're going to be on the defense for a while. Yeah, actually, their generals are very aggressive. I didn't actually realize that. Like, you've got a five attack on that dude. Wow. Now, where we are kind of split up between, you know, you've got the Czechs and then you have the Slovaks. The Slovaks, the, the, the territory here isn't as preferable to try and defend. So this may be my downfall, but I may actually sacrifice the Slovakia to uh, save our main chonk. But don't worry, I, I will, I will, I will come back for them. I am sacrificing the United population, though, if I do go down the Czech industry. But you are getting uh, nine extra civilian factories. In my test run, I did do United population, but ooh, that 20% stability might be nice, too. No, I'm, I'm, I, I'm going to do Czech industry. I'm going to sacrifice the United population. I'm greedy for factories, and I'll do concentrated industry. I usually do Spurs, but... Uh, where are we going to have such a small nation to defend? It's definitely going to be concentrated. And then if we do partial mode, we've already got 15 factories producing stuff. Like, <laughs> that's why I'm actually doing military factories from the off. Because we are pretty much okay for civilian. I do need a well-equipped army to have a hope against the Germans. And I'm going to go ahead and get myself an army defense, fella. Okay, we've still got like another year and a half to build up. I'm feeling pretty happy with how things are going at the moment. We've got 39 factories. We are absolutely bussing with military factories too. And then I'm going to start... 
Probably. Would that give me more steel if I dug? Oh, you actually have oil in Moravia. I'm going to trade away a factory for steel. feel like that's probably prudent at this point in the game. And then start specializing in various engineer companies and other support companies that we want to get in our armed forces. I'm going to go ahead and get fortification studies now so I get a little bit of extra... Uh, recruitable population and increase my production efficiency cap because we need enough equipment to keep everyone a-okay having support anti-air just is so helpful when it comes to piercing early on in the game that is, oh it's tasty do you know what i am actually going to get rid of these divisions i've changed my mind for now i don't think we need to worry and then we can also do the sudetenland early fortifications but i'm first going to do the export subsidies to decrease my consumer goods by five percent and increase and decrease the production cost of inventory equipment too like the, the check focuses compared to some nations are just super useful i'm really quite surprised at how well this holds up and then we're just going to go straight to limited conscription i need people being uh, mobilized I can't believe we don't have trucks. Disgraceful. Just added in support artillery for the army. And I definitely need concentrated industry once again. Equal access guarantee. Oh, no, I want the fortifications. I, I, want, the, I want the manpower. And uh, I'm going heavy anti-air as well. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be shooting down as much as possible to keep our industry as safe as we can and then we're gonna add in engineers to increase our defense and increase our entrenchment for our divisions boop definitely static warfare for a uh, spirit of division i think let's do the advanced fortifications to again increase our recruitable population and i'm actually feeling confident enough to start working on an intelligence agency because why not I've got the factories for it. And I can give myself a division recovery rate. And I'm also going to do the final fortification line as well. To give myself extra recruitable population once again. And why don't we try building an intel network in Germany. I'm actually going to start finishing the uh, the lines. Uh, such as the Hungarian and the Polish line. I don't know if it's going to be that useful. But uh, I'll do equal access guarantee first, methinks. Yes. Reducing our division attrition in case we uh, are going to get bombed. I wouldn't be too keen on that. And the Anschluss has begun. So our days are currently very much numbered okay so my defense line here um there is going to be one tile with forest but we've got a level seven fort and i'm also building uh, a fort line in the mountains here and in the mountains there i'm honestly tempted to do this one and hold zilna as well that might be tricky but it will probably be worth it actually yes okay who's the battalion commander of the first brigade brigadier antonin havlik so he is going to be promoted to a general. Oh dear. Well, you're going to have the responsibility of protecting our rear. Don't let us down, whatever you do. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. So our armed forces could be, be a, bit, a bit better. I think I'm going to go ahead and get armored recon for the extra piercing, as that still seems OPAF. Oh, no. Oh, we just need 165. Okay. And we're going to start training the men. But I think this is all I can actually muster at this point in time. So it's looking... Uh, I mean, it, could, it could look stronger, really, couldn't it? We've got 400,000 people to defend our glorious nation. Yeah, I'm going to get the internal redoubts and, and the backup line. We're going to have forts every freaking where. And an extra max 25% entrenchment. Trench warfare. We're digging in. You can come at me, but I'll get my little turrets poking out from my forts and pound ya. You what? Oh, they are guaranteeing my independence. Woo! Well, let's stop training and start entrenching. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the defense that we're going to be able to muster. The division templates are currently looking like this. The piercing is 34, which I'm quite pleased with. Soft attack is, is, is meh. The defense is pretty nice, but... I would have liked more things because uh, I, I'm not surrendering. There ain't no, we will never surrender. And Romania has come in as my ally. That's nice. The Munich diktat. And I think France abandoned me. What? But they didn't have military access to join my, to, to kind of come in here. So cool. They're doing makeshift bridges. And it looks like they're bombing my infrastructure and Forts. See if we can't intercept a few of them before our air force will get shot down. Yeah, they've got 500. <laughs> Whoa! Enemy planes down by anti-air. It pays. Oh my god! It pays to have anti-air in the divisions. Wow. We're disrupting a lot of bombers. 
enemy support bombers lost. That's gonna rack up. Wow, that's <laughs> that's pretty pretty tasty actually. Yes. Destroy them, make them suffer. Yeah, they're losing so much to AA. And then we'll go for extensive conscription and start pumping out more divisions once our uh, stockpile is all sorted out. Yeah, I think we've taken out most of their tactical bombers. Uh, that's really quite cool because they, yeah, yeah, I'm repair we're repairing our forts as soon as they <laughs> bomb them now. Oh my days. Oh, they tried to launch an attack on Ostrava. It failed. When I can, I'm going to improve work conditions. I, I, may, I need to increase my stability however I really can. Oh, improved artillery. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Max radar to help the anti-air. Goody, 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 goody gumdrops. I love playing a defensive game. It, it, I, I think it is one of my... One of the things I'm good at. Wow, they're doing an early Poland. But then they've moved a load of divisions off of my line. Uh, I'm sure that's just a bit of a fault. I'm not actually going to go away from my forts just yet. I'm staying in my forts. You may also have military access. Looks like France has, has gone in. They've advanced. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I hope Romania goes to the help of Poland. But it appears Poland has decided to leave their own nation to fortify my border. Why would you do that, AI? Oh, good lord. That's so, that's so inane. That's so inane. Oh, my God. They've actually encircled a German division, though. Go on, son. Like, if Poland wanted to, they could have held really quite easily, I feel. But again, I'm focusing on myself. I'm not focusing... Ah, heroes on the production front. I'm not focusing on trying to save other people. I'm looking out for the Czechs, because no one looked out for them and the Slovaks. Just in case things get bad, we'll do a fallback line. Uh, you can go and start extending that defense line here, for sure. When Poland falls, you shall be needed. There we go. So we have 600,000 troops in the field now. Now I know what you're thinking. Alex, you could be really doing stuff here. I don't want to. I'm just loving that Poland is still alive. Well, they won't be for much longer, but uh, they lived and they inflicted like 100,000 casualties, I think. Yeah, good for them. I wonder how many bombers we've taken. We have green air. We destroyed like 300, almost 400 of their bombers. Nice. I would love improved anti-air upgrades. Yes. I feel like if I stretch my lines out, a little bit more and Hungary still doesn't mm, do I want to try and save Poland no I wonder could we actually push the Germans at oh oh I do like 200 soft attack oh my days might as well have some fun while Poland's alive when they die then I'll kind of retreat but might as well get an encirclement on the Germans while we can we can deal 100% of their damage through the armor of four enemy divisions oh that's another little encirclement there very nice we can end the Germans one division at a time. Oh, <laughs> based number of casualties there. Giggity. So it doesn't look like Poland is going to capitulate at the moment. I'm sure when the Soviets come in, then... Uh, oh, no. I was going to have a bit of fun and try and take Vienna, but I don't know if that's going to be a possibility now. But I may just be able to push south a little bit. Uh, maybe I will take Vienna? I guess I'll take Vienna. <laughs> and then I'll kill another encircled uh, set of Germans. So if I surround Graz, that's another German division dead. Um, we can move up and try and take that more German. D what? Why? Why is the German AI brain dead at the moment? Hello? Is there anyone there? I am mucho confusion in this situation, honestly. I'm loving it though. Is that Italy? Italy's in. Yeah. I. Uh, th is that? Oh, I thought we actually had a tank division encircled then, but. Alas, no. I'm going to have to be very careful. I'm going to have to stop these uh, these, these attacks. Although, still got 100 days to maybe take Berlin. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, lovely. That's a medium tank division just encircled and gone. Oh my god, could I actually try and take Berlin? Hello, it's free. Okay. Oh. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep all these gains, especially if Hungary decides to join. And, of course, the Soviets are almost finished justifying on Poland. And if they do declare, I'm going back to my little uh, bit there and then waiting it out. But I feel pretty nice that <laughs> we took Berlin in 1940. They're about to take it back. Lithuania joined. What is this timeline? Yeah. Yeah, so the... Uh, Hmm... 
I think it's time to retreat. We more than achieved our objectives. Let's go back. Oh god, that's kind of awful that this happened. Maybe if I'd been more aggressive we could have held, but I don't really want to. I think inflicting almost a million casualties on Germany before they take France is pretty nice. And then as soon as they go to war with the Soviets, that's also going to be a lovely boon for me too. Look at Poland though. Fight until the end. I'm going to be a beacon of liberty here. Yes. Beacon of liberty. Like, good for Poland for lasting as long as they have. Wow. Really fighting to the last. Good for them. But now Hungary is joining the Axis and I am lacking equipment. A lot of... Ouch. That's a lot of equipment I'm lacking. And here is where we begin to... Ripples. <laughs> I feel like a bit of a fool here. I had one fort in my line that's not up to scratch. And that may make my whole defense moot, which uh, would not be ideal. But now I think we're completely surrounded. So let's all just fight till the last. We have a little democratic bastion. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Romania's out for the count soon too. And then it will just be me. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Hello? Is there anybody out there? We have no one to trade with anymore. Anyone want to send me some of them uh, volunteers? Keep building the fort. I've lost one of my anti-air tiles. I'm very annoyed at that. Ay ay ay. Oh, well, I actually got the cyber for the German Reich. Well, there we go. Lasted to August 1940. France is still alive in August 1940. It's looking pretty dicey though, but the Germans are... Oh, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Australia destroyed Albania. Good, good, good. I like that I've held this river line, despite their attempts to cross it. What is this flexible cohesion? No, 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 no. Rigid. I want rigid cohesion. Don't start moving around all over the bloody place. Rigid. Rigid in your defense. Hold the line. Oh, what the fu- Well, you tried, the Netherlands. You tried. I am on zero manpower. Uh-oh. I feel like I'm at a point where I can maybe zoom out. Just take a little look at what's going on. Okay, zoom back in. There we go. Hungary's chonky. France, come on, man. Oh, Africa's just gross. Can I become spy master? Oh, cheers, UK. Very cool. Yay, Yugoslavia. You can cause a little bit of damage before the, you inevitably collapse. Oh, wow, yeah, they just, they got pummeled. Oof. <laughs> What are you doing, UK? Oh, gosh, they're just going to do these little, like, naval invasions, which will just end up not going well, will it? Silly Billy. I'm rather liking my intel network being built up in uh, in Germany, though. That's very nice. Oh, he's, he's already been captured. Belgium must be sweating right about now. The Germany hasn't done anything. Oh, no, they're just justifying against Luxembourg. Okay. France is still holding. Oh, my days. Uh, yeah. Luxembourg is also still in, in it. And they're pushing into Germany. What is this timeline? Where Luxembourg appears to be a giga chad. And there we go. So France is gonna fall pretty darn soon, I would imagine. But not not without, like, Germany's on 2.2 million casualties now. Oh, baby. And Japan's gone in on the Philippines. So the USA is gonna enter the war soon, I would imagine. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Huh. Ethiopia stands. There we are. Germany is dealing with so many disastrous, like, just little naval invasions all over the place. They can't respond to everything. And the fact that, okay, maybe Belgium isn't even going to die. What on earth is this timeline? And Japan, Japan, the United States joined the Allies. There we go. Good. Bring the US in. I love that we've still got some Romanian there. Uh, legionaries here i'm actually going to cancel bother doing let's cancel that focus and then go on to ba -ba 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 -ba, the beacon of liberty 14 days Ooh. well thank you very much and then defensive preparations have we done that will that give me extensive conscription it better i think i was already on it wasn't i whoops i feel like i'm in like an ai only game with them oh no they're bringing forth gustav stay away from me get that gustav out of here Ooh, i'm strong enough to push them back a tile yes I didn't think that that UK invasion was going to succeed, but it clearly has, and my border is looking more and more enticing to branch out a little bit. Oh, and even Mexico's coming in. Cheers, Mexico. Offensive line to Berlin? Well, don't mind about it. Oh yeah, and we're in winter as well. Even more impressive. Da -da -da -da. I, w I must take Berlin before the British. The race for Berlin is on. Who will win? The Czechoslovak goats or the 
all the all the British man and US. Oh no, they're gonna beat me! Oh no, no! I will have my satisfaction. Force attack! Oh crap! I put it on defense. No, 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 no! Go on, go on, go on! Yeah, what? That is a disgrace. I'm not even gonna look at that event. It, it, it fell into my hands. I was robbed by the freaking British there. Absolute, oh, bastards. I'm shocked and appalled. Next, they'll claim credit for this encirclement I'm doing. But at least that allows the British to kind of come into my lines here a bit, which is nice. There we go. Nice encirclement here. And I guess that will open up trade routes again, right? Never mind, I have the steel I need. Oh, what's that? A lovely, uh... Lovely chunk of the German army about to be encircled and destroyed in Leipzig. Beauty. We shall order a general advance across the line. I will be a major by the end of this. Give me all them factories. Gobble, 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 gobble. Imagine sucking so hard. France is still alive, Germany. That's how much you sucked in this playthrough. Wow. Oh! This might be my new favourite nation to play. Europe shall be liberated and uh they can all just fight each other for all i care i, I i'm not getting involved in that oh oh italy's getting overwhelmed too Ooh, this was this was i i i have had a lot of fun in this playthrough oh look how big i am and there's mussolini deposed very nice splendid civil war oh and they're gone <laughs> oh greece is still alive too huh. so why haven't we had a peace deal Bulgaria is a major. Don't make me laugh. Oh, wow. Looks like the Allies are stomping on the Soviets, too. <laughs> hmm. What should I take as reparations? I would like the steel factories. Never again shall we not have steel. That'll do. Just a few states. Well, there we go. That was the Czechoslovakia playthrough. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please do comment, like, and subscribe. What? I didn't do that. That the Allies must have puppeted Italy and given me control. What? Yeah. Okay, we've got the whole of Italy as a puppet. <laughs> as you do. But if you did enjoy, please do comment, like, and subscribe. Czechoslovakia is the goat. And I'll speak to you again soon. Ta-da! Many thanks to the cult leader tiers, Onion Duck, Amazon Fulfillment Strategist, Jack Troku, and D Till, and many thanks to the Patreon champions, Ian Clark, Haigu, Kim Eric Carlson. We also have... Maximilian Foreman, Wire Green, Ontario is just okay, Zachariah Mosby, Chancellor64, Jiggly Crotch, Logan Whaley, Marco Janovic, Vash, and Rick Baller. Thank you.